rock and roll, motherfucker. What's up, motherfucker? They met as adversaries. What the fuck was that for? A monster made them allies. <laughs> a secret agent. Immaculate. Intelligent. A rookie. They call him only G. His identity? A mystery. You ever gonna tell anyone what that fucking G stands for? No. A playboy cop. Isaac Washington. Make him mad, and he'll rip your balls off. I'm gonna rip your motherfucking balls off. <laughs> Tonight, these unlikely allies will confront terror most foul in the blood so tall of Papa's Palace of Pain. Be a courteous guest. By tomorrow morning, I'll have my motherfucking revenge. Papa Caesar will be dead. If we don't stop this mutant outbreak by tomorrow morning, we'll all be dead. Because your first visit will be your last. Papa's Palace of Pain. Rated X.
zombie. Mutants, how many times do I have to tell you not to use the Z word? Reload! Elevator to hell going. Shut up and press the button. You should have taken the stairs. Ah! Washington, you okay? No, I am not okay. Asshole. Shake it off, detective. Come on, let's move. What these guys table manners? Mother, these guys ain't human. I've never seen this kind of crazy shit before. All right, so what's the game plan? You restrain the subject, and I'll lead an interrogation. Fuck that, Columbo. Shoot to me. Sadistic crime lord, master of a perverse science. My darling Jasper, do you have a present for me? They call him Caesar. Our test subject at the hospital is showing progress. You've done very well, my boy. We shall celebrate this tonight with takeout Chinese. A brilliant mind with a broken body. You've gone too far, Papa Caesar. His talents turn to evil to protect the sister who raised him. <laughs> you impotent cripple. <clears throat> Think of your sister before threatening Papa Caesar. Next time you speak, turn the volume to zero, fucking cabbage. Nobody threatens Varla. The ultimate sacrifice. Freeze, bitches! <laughs> because of the shocking nature of the following scenes, they are definitely not recommended for the squeamish or the easily offended. What the...
Family betrayed. Tell my sister I love her. Fuck! How do you say that shit without moving your lips? Gee, you see this shit? An act of mercy. It hurts so much. I can help ease the pain. No, you can fucking not. Shoot the motherfucker. Don't you do tat. That's what I am going to fucking do. You know, Shut the fuck up and shoot! Shit! Happy now? Fuck with? You fucking bastard! You killed my brother! You're his sister? You're his sister? Carla Guns, a doting sibling to a crippled brother, forced into a life of vice. Now she's filled with a primal hunger for revenge. Mankind's last hope now rests on the shoulders of two men. Caesar's heading to the hospital. We gotta stop that asshole before he gets there. Tasteful ride. Don't disrespect my wheels. She's my pride and joy. Mm, we'll take my car. The plantation house has claimed its victims, but with Papa Caesar on the loose, nobody is safe. You died trying to stop Caesar. I won't rest until I've shot his fucking guts over half the county. Least of all, Tim. As you well know, Isaac, I enjoy pain. It's like a good Chinese dinner, you know, with the sweet and the sour. Expanding on that analogy, I will smile with delight. That's the sweet. As you scream for your fucking life. Of course, that's the sour. Ciao. Mad motherfucker. Shit! The place is wired to blow! We're not dead yet, detective! Washington and his associate are on their way. Tonight, you have been admitted to Bayou County General. Rest assured, Clement. I have a plan which will eliminate both of them and any evidence of our work here. Your symptoms? Cold sweats, irregular heartbeat, anxiety. The diagnosis? Bleeding horror that cuts like a scalpel to the heart. There is only one cure. A white hot boot to the brain. Ballistic trauma. Collect your point blank prescription. some aggressive surgery.
got a fever. That makes me a doctor. I think so. Shit, it's coming through. I'm alive. I'm motherfucking still alive. Yeah, just my luck. <laughs> Oh. 
Shoot me! I ain't no mutant! Move aside, diaper shit. Let a man handle this. Come! 
dead. Are you gonna answer that? That's not my phone. An unexpected complication. The bitch is ringing! No motherfucking way, man. I manicured only yesterday. You manicured? What if I fucking do? These ain't going inside that bitch. No finger fucking way. Hello? <laughs> Who could be behind such depravity? It's for you. Yo! Isaac, darling. Papa strikes again. As you well know, Isaac, I enjoy pain. It's like a good Chinese dinner, you know, with the sweet and the sour. Expanding on that analogy, I will smile with delight. That's the sweet as you scream for your fucking life. Of course, that's the sour. Ciao. Mad motherfucker. Shit, the place is wired to blow. We're not dead yet, detective. Let's get the fuck out of here. Hellcat humping a hot steel arm. Hey, you! Crack and tug! Jump on! A seductive she devil leading a pair of pigs on a roaring rampage of revenge. Bitch. I'm telling you, G, I've tried my best with her. 
God be my witness. I have shown respect, charm, under fucking standing. But that is the last fucking straw. Ladies and gentlemen, the infinite tact of Isaac Washington. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Looks like something was eating him alive. More mutants? No shit, Sherlock. If you're both finished admiring each other's dicks, can I remind you we have a fucking mass-murdering psychopath son of a bitch to catch? You wait there, woman. Agent Gwendolyn and me are gonna check this shit out. Fuck you! Mother fuck! What does a brother have to do to pacify a bitch? I'm telling you, G. I've tried my best with her. God be my witness. I have shown respect, charm, under fucking standing. But that is the last fucking straw. Ladies and gentlemen, the infinite tact of Isaac Washington. You do, truly you do. Use your tongue better than a, a $30 hooker. And man, can I say from the bottom of my heart, you are a shining example to all of us. Mankind, I mean. Don't make me hit you again. Carney, a thousand tiny fingers clawing at your spine. Shit, there's something on the roof. 
Procedure. Procedure can kiss my ass. their metabolic rate. Boy, I don't understand half the shit that comes out of your mouth. Likewise. Reload.
Check out these signs. You didn't tell me your family was in town, Agent. AMS agent, put your hands in the air. All of them, if you be so motherfucking kind. Now there's some good eating. Shut up, man. <laughs> Motherfucker! That bastard had to be the sickest mutant yet! It's still alive! Shit. So now we're stuck out here, in the ass end of nowhere, with no ride, and motherfucking Papa Caesar on a train to fuck knows where by now. And where the fuck have you gone? Don't make me go calling your stupid ass name. No fucking way. You know, Washington, a man driving a car with his own choice of music is one of the finest experiences he can have in an automobile. You call this an automobile? Music, man, motor, isolated from the outside world. Music making you nod your head with every beat while the outside's just passing you by. You know where I'm coming from? If I did, that's not the type of shit I share. Uh, well, how do you mean? A brother cannot be asked to relay his 
personal affiliation to his music before knowing he can trust that motherfucker. These things take time. Here I am teamed up with a partner I don't even fucking need, forced to sit in the motherfucking passenger seat, which I have not fucking done since I was a kid, while he goes all soft talking about his feelings for his motherfucking tunes. Shit, just play your fucking music. What the fuck? I was listening to that. You fucking think because you scored us this fucking popsicle ride, you can play that shit? Hey, 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 that there is country western's finest. You are one fucked up fuck. You know that? That's offensive shit you're playing me. You ever thought of therapy? What the fuck for? All you do is get pissed off that and with just about anything and anyone. I'm attempting conversation here with you. Convra fucking sation? Yes, Convra motherfucking sation. But you know what? I'm gonna shut up. You play your music, you play it your way, and I will just drive. Can I drive? No. Can I have a lollipop? Yes. What fun? What fun? It got into you. Oh, oh, yeah. Varla Guns, a doting sibling to a crippled brother, forced into a life of vice. Now she's filled with a primal hunger for revenge. Come on over, baby Spare me just an hour or two Sit beside my fireside And we'll talk about what we're gonna do I've been waiting so long, baby Burning, yawning, and hurting for you I get the aching inside my heart And the mind is solely set on you Got him. My brother died trying to take down this sick fuck. I need this. I gotta do this for Jasper. Caesar's mine, Valla. Papa Caesar, you're under AMS arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can... Fuck that shit! This bastard can't live. I can't let you kill him. Let me contact my agency and we'll take him into custody. To hell with that! Fucking A, sister. Caesar ain't leaving this platform with his eyes still open, G. Have you both lost it? Ahem. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint all of you. Particularly you, Isaac. You got the most reason to despise me or anybody here. But I have business elsewhere. Urgent business. And... Ah! You piece of shit! I'm sorry. Do continue. See you in hell, Washington. Scream Train. 200 tons of unstoppable terror burning through the night. What was that? Your mama, by the sound of it. Enough with the pissing competition. We're gonna take down this. Motherfucker! <laughs> hey! Assholes! Wait for me! Shit!
county jail. And that can't be good. Reload.
in waste. we need right here. Get your claws out of my motherfucking face! Shoot the claw! Don't touch that. You got enough problem without these guys getting out. Destination far, far sooner than expected. <laughs> choo, choo. Any wise ideas, Agent Genius? How should I know? Shoot the claws. We go.
That shit's icky. Are you kidding me? All right, Rambo. Don't get all fucking macho. I hate bugs. And that was their fucking bug king. And speaking of bugs... Caesar, you fucking in there? You... Hey, Isaac, you finally found the G-spot, huh? Sorry to ruin the moment. Isaac's back. Here I am. You saw nothing. You hear? Isaac, baby, my lips are sealed. Hey, wake up, sleeping beauty. Stop calling me Gwendolyn. Hi there. What happened? You were having a fucking wet dream. Where's Caesar? He was on the train, right? He was up front driving. Let's take a look. Are you gonna help me up? Be gentle, Isaac. You know that's how he likes it. No. Please, continue, my dear. Usually, I have to dial premium rate for this kind of entertainment. Don't mind now, motherfucker. Careful, Washington! Isaac, it's not a dick he's pressing into my back. Very astute, Miss Guns. Apparently, young Jasper wasn't the only genius in the family. You bastard! You truly are your father's son, Isaac. Like him before you, you have failed to apprehend him. And while I may not have the satisfaction of ending your life, I will take some small comfort in knowing you have been denied your revenge once again. Then it's true? You did kill my old man? Miss Guns, if you'd be so kind, I have business to attend to at the county prison. You dickheads better come rescue me, okay? We'll find you, Varda. You die tonight, Caesar. Goodbye, Isaac. Washington, I, I... I don't know what to say, man. And don't say anything, dipshit. You heard where he's taking Varda. The quickest way to the prison from here is through that. Lead the way, detective.
One thing I hate more than mutants is redneck mutants. Reload.
shit fair. Uh, See if you can get a sample of that vial for forensics. Reload. that was a component of mutant behavior. This is going to my report. You're mentioning a mutant taking a dump in your report? Well, anything that could be exploited as a weakness. Madness unleashed by human error. From the murky depths of mystery, it has come to maul. It has come to murder. It has come to feed. It came from the fetid water. Can you give us a fucking moment? Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go! My paper beats your rock. Oh, fuck it. You have the right to remain fucking silent. You have the right to an attorney. Anything you say can and fucking will. Thank you. 
not a shortcut I mean what will you oh quit whining you pussy I got us here didn't I fuck you about to get all country and Western on me again Isaac careful there's only so much of this shit a brother can take look I just want you to know if it comes down to it I won't stand in the way of you getting even with Caesar I'd like to see you fucking try I'm serious look I appreciate the fucking sentiment but it's not needed I do what I gotta do. I gotta get justice for my old man. And as I see it, you're with me a hundred fucking percent. And I appreciate that too. But we've been through shit. You don't need to go articulating every fucking thing. I know you got my back. That's enough. You dig me? I love you too, man. Right, that's fucking it. The prison then? Fucking lead the way, Montel. Daddy, can I be a mutant? Uh, one day, son, but for now you're too young. But, Daddy! No means no, and stop sniveling, you little shit. By the way, I'm not your daddy. Huh? I just kind of fuck your mom. <gasps> Talking of fucking people, I have a story for you. Sit back and listen, it's quite an amusing one. Well, I took myself to buy you. I could not believe my eyes. 
The folks had been mutated, not quite dead, but not alive. Wasn't really looking for love, but they say that's when it strikes. She had that look of being dug up, but that's the type I like. Yeah, free world, man. One man's meat, yada, yada, yada. Man, she was good. Well, she came towards me, said no words, just kind of snarling. As she tried to eat my brains out, I just had to kiss you, darling. I think I kind of rushed it though, cause as her lips had touched my mouth, her cums broke free from her face, thought it rude to spit them out. You know those travel programs that's on the television, where they eat all that weird shit? Yeah, she tasted like chicken. Didn't want to make a scene as her mouth was in mine, so I chewed around and swallowed it down, went in for a second time. Now I like to love the hard way, the rough and then the tumble. But she was something else, man. I was being strangled. Once again, misread the signs, thought go to second base. As her top came off, her tits went pop, got pus all in my face. Yeah, tasted like chicken. Chunky pussy chicken. Fire, bitch. I'm telling you, G, I've tried my best with her. God be my witness. I have shown respect, charm, under fucking standing. But that is the last fucking straw. Ladies and gentlemen, the infinite tact of Isaac Washington. What the fuck? What the fuck? Got into you. Mother fuck! What happened here? Excuse me, sir. Sir? You two gentlemen smell like shit. I'm gonna do my very best not to base our relationship on this first impression. But first impressions count for a lot. So if I meet a couple of men who not only neglect the common decency to introduce themselves, but simply walk up to me smelling as shit, well... It's gonna take an effort for me to get to know them. I'm sorry, sir. We just came from the swamp. I'm Agent G, AMS. Your warden, darling, right? That's entirely accurate, Detective Washington. You see, I'm not the only individual whose reputation precedes them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to piss. My dick's on fire. I've been on the road for at least three quarters of an hour with a bladder full of steaming hot piss, slashing left and right with every turn of the road in a way that a bladder full of steaming piss tends to. Do excuse me. Uh, do you have any idea what happened here, sir? Ah, oh, shit. There you go, distracting me. Now I got it all down my left leg. I'm gonna look like I pissed myself. Imagine if I have to meet anybody besides yourselves today. They'd be inclined to think I was the sort of man who pisses himself. Now that'd be a poor first impression, indeed. We ain't got time for this shit. With all due respect, what the fuck's happened here? Is it the mutants? Mutants, you say? Can't say I have any idea what you're talking about, detective. I got a call in the middle of the night. I got told there was trouble at my prison. I came down, and here I am. That's the math of the situation right there. We're looking for someone, for a couple of people. A man and a woman. Riding a motorcycle? How the fuck do you know that? Well, there's a motorcycle dumped right over there. Looks like you gentlemen have your own affairs to deal with. I'll be heading inside to see what's what. If I see your friends, I'll be sure to let... They're not our fucking friends. A at least... Look, if you see them, don't let them go. I'll be sure to do that, detective. We appreciate any assistance you can offer us, sir. Call me Clement. You coming, motherfucker? Nice boys.
Maybe we should wait for backup. Or maybe you should grow some balls. G-Man.
What the mother fuck? Boys, boys, don't be so melodramatic. Put those guns away, take a seat, enjoy the show. So, what's going on here? You're behind... That's right. I'm behind the whole thing. Me, I'm responsible for... Don't interrupt me, detective. I have quite a lot to get through. You murdering psycho! You're responsible for all of this? For all those dead freaks? Well... I didn't kill your dad, Washington. Perhaps my esteemed colleague here has something to comment on that one. Clement, Clement, what the fuck are you doing? This wasn't part of our deal. I got the compound refined for you. I... Shut the fuck up. In fact, shut up permanently. No! Oh, shit! You were to do that, right? To get revenge? Hmm, maybe he's good for sloppy seconds. Ouch! Fuck! No, I think he's a goner. You sick bastard! Look, what do you want with Varla? She's not part of this. Let her go. You're actually quite wrong, whoever the fuck you are. I'm Agent G. G? What the fuck does that stand for? I'm afraid that's... Don't care, right? I have someone to introduce you to. Very exciting. Will you two please sit down, okay? And be polite. She's a real stickler for manners. Mother? Meet Isaac Washington. He's a homicide detective. Very good at his job. And this is his friend agent. I'm sorry. I didn't entirely catch your name. Clement! Where's my medicine, Clement? You don't need your medicine. Mother, remember what I told you? Where's my fucking medicine, you fatless peasant? Let me give you some context here, boys. I love my mother. I bet you boys love your mothers too and would do anything to keep them happy and healthy. Well, my mother is dying. Clement, don't ignore me! And dying really quite rapidly. And unfortunately, there's only one way to fix that. See, the compound that's been turning my inmates and half this county into mindless mutants can be used to sustain life, in a manner of speaking. She's got small tits! <coughs> Don't use the one with small tits, Clement! I forbid it! Calm down, Mother. You're insane. I'm just a very loving son. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, going to fucking puke! Oops. Time for your treatment, Mother. Wait! I'd rather not. I can't believe Caesar is finally fucking dead. Hey, snap out of it. We've got to find Varla. You two. Hello, boys. One last thing. If you'd be so kind as to look towards the stage, please. Between them, 21 counts of armed murder, 17 counts of aggravated assault, 12 counts of sexual assault, three bombings, and one instance of eating a little boy's puppy. We fried him in Old Sparky about six months ago, and since then I've been tinkering with them on my weekends off. See how you find them. Careful, guys. <laughs>
Come on! In your own time. Oh, yeah. Our feature presentation, Jailhouse Judgment, will resume after these messages. Forty years ago, at the height of the Cold War, a group of military scientists created Formula X. Its purpose, to turn any individual into an unnaturally strong super soldier. The project failed. Today, the bunker that was home to these mysterious experiments and the last remaining samples of Formula X lie sealed and hidden. Its location, unknown. Heaven forbid anyone should ever open that bunker and learn of the secrets contained within. Heaven forbid anyone should discover Operation Overkill. So how are we gonna do this? I figured we'd kill every motherfucker who stands in our way. For a change. Works so far, I guess. Ready? Born ready. is doing nothing for my elevator phobia.
are dead. <laughs> stairs in this place I know in the event of a fire our chance of effecting a rapid escape is pretty limited oh come on man will you shut the fuck up I think this elevator has structural issues not again jump jump that was a close call
dead. Damage, Wash. Ten of them. One of him. Don't feel too bad. You can be one cold motherfucker at times. You know that? Why didn't we come in here? Shut up and figure a way out of this. The shaft. Go. Now. <laughs> that motherfucker nearly had me. Shit. You ever feel like dialing down the cursing, Wash? Fuck that, motherfucker. So, where's Varla? She's right here, boys. Varla? Are you okay? Better than okay. I've never felt so turned on in my life. Say what? 
Don't worry, detective. Everybody will have their chance to have a go. Nobody's having a go with anybody. Stay behind me, Varla. Grab your gun, not your dick. Clement, did I call for you? Go to your room. Can't you just one time in your life show your son a little fucking gratitude? And try to act your age. Don't you ever talk to your mother like that. Sorry, mommy. That's better. Oh my fucking... What have you done? I should think that's pretty self-explanatory. Your friend is in that jar over there. She's alive, too. What's left of her. Then your stock just fucking crashed. I love you, Mom. Mom? I don't understand. The formula should have worked. Say night night to mommy, asshole. And I think it's past your fucking bedtime, young man. Mommy! You're beautiful. Fuck! I, I guess this is it. It's certainly been an adventure. You want to do the honors? Farla, this is for you. How we survived that, I don't know. Hey, if we hadn't found these mini guns just lying around, we'd be fucking dead for sure. I'm just glad Varla got the justice she deserved. So, what do you plan to do with your life now, Isaac? Well, I figured as soon as I got home, I'd go pay my respects to my old man. And then? And then Washington's going to fucking Vegas, baby! She's still fucking alive, ain't she? Appears that way. You got anything clever to say? I'm at somewhat of a loss. Then let's just make this look fucking cool.
are dead. <laughs> I can't go on in a world without my mommy. In a world that would never accept him. You're fucking right there. A cornered animal. I advise you, don't. This is a dead man switch. With nothing to live for. Kill me, and the self-destruct for the lab beneath us goes off. This whole prison will be leveled. Then what do you want? Sought only redemption. I want to undo all the wrongs I have done. I want to return to the womb. Please, just this one last thing. You fucking handle this freak show. I need to sit down. When revenge seemed the only option. You've broken a hundred laws. You're responsible for the deaths of countless thousands. You threatened the safety of every man, woman, and child on this planet. And you put our friend's brain in a jar! I have a lot to atone for. By returning to the womb? That's right. A final noble act. Give me that. Thank you. Was all that was needed. Don't fucking thank him! Soon as we're in a helicopter out of here, I'm chucking that thing out the fucking window. Then I can die happy. Goodbye, boys. <laughs> Did you not find this all slightly ironic? I? Fucking ironic? Yeah. Ironic. You know, when something occurs after you... I know what ironic means, motherfucker. You see, you did it again. Throughout this whole episode, you've been motherfucking everything. That's my thing. That's how I fucking speak. Yeah, but there we were, face to face with the real motherfucker. Huh? <laughs> Clement more than likely fucked his mother. And not once, not once did you call him motherfucker. When indeed he was, most probably a real motherfucker. So what does that tell you? I don't fucking know. It means you don't fucking mean what you fucking say. It's all shit. Say what, motherfucker? See, you're doing it fucking again. You like me. Deep down through all your fuckisms, you really like me. I'm the fucking nearest fucking thing you've ever had to a fucking friend. Don't fucking do this to me, man. Wrong fucking place, wrong... Go on, go on, say it. Say the fuck what? Say you like me. Get the fuck out of my space. Never repeat fucking talk of that shit again. Or what? I don't fucking know what. That's fucking what. Okay, man, okay. You made progress here. You did good. When we're back home, I am going to get myself a car, play my 
country music, and if you want to ride back to where the fuck ever you live, you are motherfucking welcome. Fuck you. So that's a yes, then. Can I drive? Yeah, fuck you. Washington is washing off on you. Just ain't right. I think if we've learned anything from today, it's that love ain't always right. Hey, I love my old man. You saying that ain't right? Well... And your fiance saying that jaw there loved her brother. I was just making an observation. Frankly, Casanova, I'd be more worried about reading the past 12 hours as a damning fucking indictment of contemporary feminism. Beg pardon? I just think two dick-wielding cop cliches taken down a hundred foot Birth and mother is a statement fairly limited in its interpretation. I'm not sure you can read too much into that. Not to mention, the strongest female role model in this whole affair ain't much more than a gherkin in a pickle jar. Washington. They had met as adversaries. What the fuck is it? They had fought as allies. I love you, man. Oh, shut the fuck up. But to their enemies. And you? One-way ticket to motherfucking Vegas, baby. They were righteous motherfuckers. Never see. 